Welcome to the Custom Life Vlog. My name is Frank, and today we're going to be featuring our very own 1994 Toyota 4Runner. So we picked up the truck about six years ago from a Sunset member named Ruben, and uh, it was pretty much bone stock. Uh, the only thing that he had done to it is he did the frame swap. This is a 94 Toyota 4Runner sitting on a 92 pickup chassis. So one of the first things that we wanted to tackle with this truck is obviously the suspension. It was already low from the frame swap, but we definitely wanted it to be even lower. And I had been talking to Bobby from Sadistic Iron Works for a while about building a 4Runner. So when I picked up this truck, I went straight to him and we started working on the details of the suspension. With this build, we wanted we had a few like ideas that we wanted to put together with it. And the number one being that we didn't want to cut too much into the cab. What we decided to do was do as minimal cutting as possible. So it is tubbed and it is C-notched and it, it, the uh, back seat is raised a little bit to, to fit the link bars and everything under it. But everything is as minimally cut as Bobby could make it. And uh, the whole, so the whole suspension is kind of unique on this truck. With Toyotas, when you bag them, you either have to do one of two things. You have to Z the front end for it to lay out flat, or in this case, what Bobby did with this truck is he took the whole front suspension and moved it up two and a half inches. So the actual oil pan is sectioned and the suspension is moved up. The rear is a pretty standard four link, just kind of done a little fancy. Bobby kind of got down on that and, and made it really fancy. He did a truss style, uh, truss style link bars, which are made out of four different pieces. The air management is uh, AccuAir E-Level, and that was like another, in the beginning when we were talking about building this truck, that's another thing I knew I definitely wanted. I wanted an auto leveling system. I grew up driving trucks on, you know, old electronic valves, even way, way back in the day, having ball valves to, to lift it up and down. So I knew this truck at the time, I wanted it as state of the art as possible. So we went with the AccuAir E-Level. While I was having the suspension built, the biggest like so we were we were throughout the build we were taking pictures of it of the whole process and posting them on Instagram and Facebook and the number one like thing everybody was telling me was you have this really awesome intricate suspension built on a truck that you can't open the bed so like how are we going to tackle that so the solution that Bobby came up with is on the notch it is uh, it's cut out with different shapes with clear plexiglass so you can kind of get an idea on how the suspension works so the first thing you notice when you look in the back of the truck through the clear plexiglass is the shock setup and it's kind of unique in the fact that it's a cantilever type shock setup So once all the suspension work was done, the next thing was paint. So I hooked up with Alan over at AK Airbrushing in Riverside, California, and he put on this paint job. The color that we went with, it's a Toyota Speedway blue. And the reason we went with a stock color like that is just in case Alan ever had to like touch this thing up or it got scratched or just need to be repainted in some places, it just uses a stock Toyota color, really easily accessible. You can just, it's not a custom mix or anything like that. As far as the airbrushing is concerned, I actually just kind of like let him do whatever he wanted. I just, he, 
when we were discussing how the, the stripe was gonna be, which actually is a um, is modeled after the stock stripe. So it follows the same stock pattern as the, the stock graphics on a Forerunner. And so basically when we were talking about the what kind of airbrushing, what designs we wanted in it, I just basically gave him a list of stuff I didn't want and just let him go wild. So all, all of the, the different things that you see in the, the airbrushing and stuff is really all out of Alan's head. We just got done filming the feature on our Toyota 4Runner. Uh, we just got done with the rollers. It took quite a bit of production. We had Angie driving the 4Runner, me filming out of the back of the Titan with my sister Allie driving. But I'm really excited the way this video is coming out. This video is actually a culmination of a bunch of different footage that we've collected over the years. This entire build from you know getting the truck, doing the suspension, sending it to paint, and finally doing the feature on it. Thanks for checking out the Custom Life vlog. We appreciate all your guys' support. When you guys drop comments, hit like, subscribe, tell people to watch the videos, we appreciate all that support. We'll see you at a show soon. Thanks.